Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Teacher Atika. You can call me Miss A or Teacher Atika. Uh, today, I'm going to do a very quick revision, a short note and practices on uh, the poem. Um, <laughs> the Living Photograph. The poem that I'm going to discuss today is The Living Photograph. Let's take a look at the timeline. It came out in the question paper, in the SPM question 2016. Um, it is about a memory of a grandchild and a grandmother. Let's take a look at the lines. Stanza 1. I will read the stanza first. The living photograph. My small grandmother is tall there, straight back, white broadery and glass shirt, pleated skirt, flat shoes, grey bun, a kind old smile round her eyes. Her big hand holds mine. White hand in black hand, her sharp blue eyes look her own death in the eye. So stanza one, uh, the person is looking at the picture, it is a present tense, where uh, we can see the uh, vocabulary here, tall there, tall in the photo, it means. Uh, straight back, maksudnya, good posture, you can see the picture. Uh, white broadery and glass shirt, uh, this is a, a a kind of shirt which has a lot of uh, embroidery and then like is is uh, it is white it's a traditional shirt i think belongs to the certain ethnic group pleated skirts and flat shoes uh, shoes without any heels gray bun uh, gray hair which is uh, tied into bun i look at the picture a uh, kind means a good hearted means baik blue eyes means blue eyes mata biru it, it, it happens not because you're wearing contact lens here, but because of the traits of the genetics. Okay, pronouns that we can see here is grandmother. Uh, her means grandmother. Mine means persona's hand. Let's take a look at the structure. Behind the structure, sentence. A kind old smile around her eyes. Grandmother is kind and gentle. Her big hand holds mine. She is a loving grandmother. White hand in black hand. It shows racial differences. Uh, it means that uh, uh, it, it shows that there are mixed marriage in the family. It symbolizes love and togetherness. Even though, even though they are from different races, they are loving, they are affectionate to one another. Her sharp blue eyes look her own death in the eye. She is dying. So as you can see here, um, uh, sharp blue eyes, uh, the grandmother has a blue eyes means that she is uh, probably she's the white uh, she's uh, she is white uh, maybe caucasian and if she is looking at her own dying mean, means that she is dying um like a look at the phrases phrases that we can see the phrases again i extracted i am a the sentence frasa uh, we look in the phrases um a, a kind, old smile, grandmother is kind and gentle, sharp blue eyes, she is brave, she is not scared of death, and uh, mini sharp, dia tengok tajam, pandangan tajam, okay? She is not afraid of death. Grandmother has blue eyes, so we can assume that she is Caucasian, and the grandchild is uh, a black. Uh, white hand in black hand uh, shows, symbolize, uh, shows love, and look her own death in the eye, she is dying. Grey bun means that she is old. Maybe grandmother has long hair and the hair is grey. So here's the info. Persona is a grandchild. It can be a girl or a boy. We do not know the gender. And the persona love grandmother. And maybe the grandchild is dark, which is black hand. So we assume from the clue that, that is given from the poem. Photo of grandmother and grandchild. So the photo is taken when the persona was three years old. So she was three years old in the photo. That's the info that you should know. Stanza two. It was true after all that look. My tall grandmother became small. Her back round and hunched. Her soup forgot to boil. She went to the awful place grandmother's go. Somewhere unknown, unthinkable. In this uh, stanza, it shows that the person is remembering the past. And we, sh we can see here the lines, every line, it shows the sign of old age and death. Okay, hunch, maksudnya dalam gambar ni bongkok, ya. Awful, maksudnya terrible, dreadful, sangat teruk. Unknown, means that mysterious, tidak diketahui. Unthinkable means unimaginable, tidak dapat difikirkan. Pronounce that we can see here, her, her soup. 
her back means refer to grandmother uh, she refers to grandmother so behind the structure my child grandmother becomes small it means that the first sign of old age she became weak second sign of old age her back become round and hunched number three third sign of old age her soup forgot to boil she became forgetful senile senile means nyanyok three uh, next she went to the awful place grandmother go she passed away or she died somewhere unknown unthinkable perhaps the afterlife perhaps the grave a graveyard phrases so phrases macam bias uh, again i ambil daripada sentence dipendekkan jadi phrases that look that look maksudnya how death look like she is dying so the persona nampak macam mana nenek dia meninggal uh, the, the grandmother becomes small macam and then the, the one to and three it shows the sign of old age grandmother becomes small back rush and hunched so forgot to boil somewhere unknown with the afterlife ataupun the, the grave uh, i just want to show the difference between sentences and phrases supaya awak tahu bila dia minta phrase bagi yang ni bila dia minta sentence bagi yang penuh so that's the point of this slides stanza three the last one um but there she is still in the photo with me at three the crinkled smile is still living breathing by jackie j jackie k so stanza three she the persona is looking at the picture it is in the present wrinkled maksudnya berkedut wrinkled the pronoun we can see here grand she grandmother me it means the persona or the grandchild the structure but there she is still grandmother in the picture there maksudnya refers to the picture in the photo with me at three the persona was three years old in the picture the crinkled smile is still living breathing the memory is still new and lives in her heart or his heart so it means that the, she remembers the grandmother by the memory phrases there she is grandmother in the picture with me at three three years old still living and breathing is the memory of grandmother look at the themes the themes uh, first life and death kehidupan dan kematian Number two, remembering the loved ones, meminati orang tersayang. Number three, family relationship, kekeluargaan. Moral values that we can see here is we should remember our elders, orang tua. We should treasure our family photograph. Kita patut hargai gambar keluarga. Number three, we should cherish memories with our grandparents. Kita patut mengingati memori bersama atuk dan nenek kita. That's about it. Let's take a look at the SPM question, 2018. Okay, here's the question. As you can see here, uh, kita cari keyword dulu. The keyword there is mentioned twice in the poem. What do you think there refers to? Bulatkan kataan there, bulatkan kataan word, bulatkan kataan twice, bulatkan what do, what do you think? B, in the poem, why did grandmother, why bulatkan, grandmother bulatkan, smaller bulatkan. C, the persona view death with great fear. Persona bulatkan, view bulatkan, death bulatkan, great fear bulatkan give one line that shows this, one line, satunya one line baris ayat penuh, jangan tulis number, jangan tulis number sahaja, ambil ayat penuh, jangan ubah apa-apa D, imagine the persona is your friend persona tu siapa? awak lah kawak cucu tu, persona adalah cucu grandchild, dia tu kawan awak what would you do to help your friend in this situation and why would you do this? what garis help garis bulat friends circle and then why circle do this circle what will you do to help maksudnya kalau dia uh, hilang grandmother dia time tu what will you do so you want to see the action what reason give sebab all right and this is the answer there means that the photograph b because small inside because she is old ataupun hunched okay and then she went to the awful uh one line, she went to the awful place, grandmother's school ataupun somewhere unknown, unthinkable. Kita boleh guna terima dua ni. Jangan tulis dua-dua, tulis salah satu sahaja. How to help? Advise him, kata kerja tu. Comfort him or her, kata kerja. So, pilih salah satu. Dia mesti letak kata kerja. Okay. Reason? Because I love him or her. Simply. Sayang kawan kan? Or we can say that death is part of life. Kematian adalah sebahagian daripada kehidupan. And let's take a look at the hot questions. And this is again provided by Mr. Hafizuddin. And look at the question. Here is super nice, super 
are helpful. I hope that everyone can see it and do it, practice it, train it. So that said, should there be any question, you can simply ask me. You can hit me up on Atika Asnan on Telegram or you can ask your teachers simply about anything that you want to ask. Uh, I will end this video with a quote. Failure is an opportunity for growth, but what my, but that mindset doesn't come easily. So you should be able to, you should, you should not be pure of failure. You should be able to brace it, embrace it. And uh, that's about the uh, sharing today. I hope and I wish you all the best for the examination. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Bye. I can fly the sky. Never gonna stay.